not Alfredo sauce taunting us about Batty's Caribbean, honey. And Zeus has released the much anticipated Bad vs. Wild trailer, baby. Let's talk about it. Ciao. So, Roly, I am so tired of this hoe. I really am so tired of this hoe. The fans are tired of this hoe, and she knows that everybody is tired of her. But she still took her big ass with her fake ass teeth and her fur ass coat that I'm about to call PETA on and basically said, Nanny, Nanny, boo boo, I'm on the show. Ha 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 ha. Bitches really thought that. I really didn't. You know, these girls, they be mad as fuck at me, and I love it. But you know what? I love y'all, too. So, Caribbean teens. Caribbean teens. I'm gonna be looking for the Caribbean. Who knows? <laughs> oh, I keep telling y'all girls, no matter what y'all say, what y'all do? You can't, you can't be me, bitch. She reminds me of Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And she's trying to get to Hi My Name Is T to steal her beauty. Yeah, she's an Ursula ass hoe. Now, I'm not one to try to take money out of people's pockets, but, oh, she is just insufferable. Like, I just, where is the humbleness? Where is the Roly that we all fell in love with? Y'all, I said this all last year in 2023. Happy New Year, by the way. That Roly was turning into a NeNe Leaks. And here we go. Now, I hope Roly doesn't act this way to production. Maybe Roly has enough sense to do that. And that's why her ass is still remaining on the show. Okay? And I think Zeus is keeping her on the show because every show needs a villain, right? Every show needs a villain. And Roly is the villain. Everybody is like, oh, she needs to go home, but it still equates to views, honey, and subscriptions. So, you know, Zeus is like, shit, we need a villain, and she provides views, and shit, we gonna keep her ass on the show. And I mean, I can't blame it. If I'm thinking about it from a, you know, casting producer perspective, yeah, we, we, we should keep um, Roly on the show, but seeing someone's attitude and just their character, yeah, she needs to buy Felicia up out that motherfucker. Now, speaking of Baddie's Caribbean, darling, Zeus released a promo for it, and we're gonna watch it right now. It's your Captain Natalie, and the baddies are heading to the Caribbean! Well, I hope you had the time of your life. Let's get out, bitches! That's very interesting. I had thought they were gonna do Baddies North next season. They had trademarked the term recently, but now they did a Houdini on us and did Baddies Caribbean. And honestly, I'm not really surprised that they're not doing North because I was thinking like, what cities would they go to in the North? Like Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, like, I don't, like those don't really seem like fun cities. But then they could also go to, like, Toronto and, like, you know, other Canadian cities. That would be interesting. But perhaps, you know, the Caribbean is just more, um, I don't know, more fun, maybe? More sexy, perhaps? Because in the North, all these hoes would have to be covered up. You know, they couldn't be showing their ass. They couldn't be showing their tits all the time. So... Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be interesting though. I'm down for it. Now, this the show that I really wanna see though. Wild and Out, not Wild and Out, Bad versus Wild, Las Vegas, honey. Let's watch the trailer. What's up, Vegas? Vegas, make some noise. What? One on one. The only. Nick Cannon! Las Vegas, make some noise! It's 
looks incredible! Y'all, that shit looked good, honey. I mean, this seems like the shit. <laughs> this is kind of like the ghetto version of Wild and Out. You know, these hoes, you know, eating cucumbers and putting their faces in people's derrieres. And me showing that is probably gonna demonetize this motherfucking video. Actually, no, I could blur out that shit. I'ma do that. Comment down below.